Now, um, choosing the select tool, we can see we can select this line, and again we can delete it by just pressing delete. Okay, so that's a very important function of the select tool. Let's just undo that, so I can right click and I can say undo. And you can see it puts the line back again for us. So uh, while we're here, you can see I'm going to now move this. If I was to come here and just drag anywhere within the selection info, I can actually move that. But it's a very inaccurate way of moving the line. It's just if I want to nudge it out the way and I'm really not interested in precisely positioning that, I can then drag it. That's the only time I would ever recommend dragging anything in TurboCAD. I always use a click-click motion, specifically on this little yellow reference point. As I move the cursor onto that yellow reference point and I, hit, I click it, now I let go of the mouse. Now I can go and choose to precisely place this object anywhere I like. I could type in the figures down here and it would put that cursor where I want, where I type, the figures that I type in, or I can click my mouse or I can turn my snap modes off and I can actually move on to one of these ends and snap modes. I don't want divide point because I made that, but you see midpoint or vertex and I can click there and that little yellow reference point is going to be specifically placed where it wants. So again, what is something that I find people doing a lot of in TurboCAD is dragging and I really must recommend that you try to get out of that habit. If I choose a line, I can drag, I can I'm just going to turn my snap modes off. I'm going to click and hold the mouse down and I can move and I can let go and it will draw the line. So what a lot of users think that that's okay, it'll work, okay? And so that's the way to do it. You click and drag. But in, in TurboCAD you really don't want to do that because you lose accuracy when you have to let go of the, the, the dot, okay? What I prefer is just to click once and now I'm not touching my mouse but it's still drawing the line, even though I'm not dragging. Then I can move on to the end of another line and press V, for example. And then in selecting as well, I can select the line, and then I can just click once on this little yellow reference point, and then I'm now I let go of the mouse. I'm not touching the mouse at all, uh, besides moving the cursor, uh, but I'm certainly not clicking it, okay? Now I move on to that line over there, and I just press V on the keyboard and it automatically snaps onto the end of this line. So this is a very important way of moving objects around the drawing with precision.